when you make a commercial or really any kind of film, you have to be able to grab the viewer's attention within a very short period of time, often seconds. And in my opinion, sound is the single most important way to do that. I think that the most common argument when making film is that sound and music is 51% of the final experience, and I totally agree with that. My name is Rasmus Pilgar, and I'm a film director at M2 Film in Denmark. And for more than eight years, I've directed commercials for some of our biggest clients. M2 Film is by far the biggest high-end production facility in Denmark. Working with everything from award-winning commercials to 3D animated TV series for major international brands. Close to 300 people are employed at M2, based in offices in Aarhus, Copenhagen, Bangkok and London. At M2 Film, we've chosen down audio speakers because we believe that it's the best in the market, but also because most of the external studios that we work with all have Dan Audio. We bought our first set of Dan Audio speakers 10 years ago, a 5.1 surround setup with Air 6s and an Airbase 12 that we've installed in our own sound studio. Today we've added the entire range of LYD throughout the company. Our compositors, art directors, producers and post-producers have either LYD 8s or LYD 5s. But while editing, we actually do a fair amount of sound design. That's quite normal, to get a good feeling of the flow and the pace of the film. And the larger LYD 48s are perfect for that. It's a tool. It's like when I'm working with a color artist, they will always have a lot of different waveforms, scopes, and even a very expensive high-end video monitor. To tell them exactly what they're doing, right or wrong. You always have a very good feeling about the direction you're taking the look of the film, but you need to be absolutely sure that the white levels, black levels, colors and skin tones are exactly where you want them. And that's what the scopes, waveforms and video monitors will tell you. It's the same with audio. I need to be absolutely sure that what I'm listening to in the edit, the grading session or even at home is the exact same sound image as what we made in the sound studio. We cannot control the way our films are viewed and listened to. It could be on a great looking screen with amazing sounding speakers, but it's more likely to be viewed on a flat screen without external speakers, a laptop or even on a smartphone. That's out of our control. But what we can control is the quality of both images and sound when a film leaves the building. It has to live up to the world-class standard that we have here at M2 Film.